Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's great to have you with me again today. And of course, I am here to encourage you from the Word of God. Hallelujah. You know, I'm going to talk about today a life with confidence. You know, everyone wants to not only feel confident, but actually be confident on the inside as well as on the outside. You know, you will soar in life if you have confidence. Now, how does one live a life of confidence? You know, people are grown to a confident person. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 32, verse 17 says that, And the work of righteousness will be peace, and the service of righteousness, quietness, and confidence forever. You see, when you became a Christian and surrendered your life to the Lordship of Christ, He gave you His righteousness, which gave you the confidence to go before God. In the word of Ephesians chapter 3 verse 12 says, In Him, and true faith in Him, we may approach God with freedom and confidence. You see, He gave us His righteousness that we might live according to His righteousness. And that righteousness is doing life right or in other words, doing life according to His way. You know, He tells us to clothe ourselves in righteousness because He wants us to put aside our old self and the old way of doing life and put on the new self and His way of doing life. Amen. In the word um, that I'm going to share with you today is found also in Romans chapter 5 verse 17. And it says that for if by the transgression of the one, that reign through the one which more those who receive the abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness will reign in life through the one Jesus Christ see grace is not the license to do what we want but the freedom and the power to do life the right way see that is why the Lord says that when sin abounds then grace abounds you know, He still gives you the grace to do what is right after you have messed up. As Christians, you know, we are not sinless, but we should sin less. So when we do sin, we need to take or to make it right. Or in other words, we need to do righteousness according to God's ways. You know, if you owe someone money, then pay pay that person or whoever you own that money, you know. That's doing the right thing. Then you will have the confidence that when you see them or that person, that you don't want to shrink away in shame. You know, some of us, we hide and, you know, we feel bad and so forth. So... If you need to ask forgiveness, then do it so that you will have a clear conscience with that person. You understand? In the book of Proverbs chapter 3 verse 26 says that, For the Lord will be your confidence and will keep your foot from being caught. See, when He is your confidence, you will not be afraid. And also in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 4, 5, 
says that confidence, such confidence we have through Christ toward God. That not that we are adequate in ourselves to consider anything as coming from ourselves, but our adequacy is from God because He is enough. He is more than you need. See, when you experience this, then you will want to trust Him more. You know, if you are struggling with confidence in life about something in particular, then do a word study in the Bible on that topic. And then you do exactly what the Bible says to do. You know, He gave us the Bible for everything that we need to find out or to want to know things in our lives. It's like a foundation of everything through the Word of God. You know, He will help you and wants to prove His Word to you. And that is trustworthy because He is trustworthy. He's the only one that can help any one of us because he is he knows everything he is the all-knowing God he knows the beginning to end as like the Bible says he's the Alpha and Omega my friend and he knows all things and the thing is that you can't hide anything from him he see what's in your heart and that's why it's so awesome to truly just trust him with anything because he is the only one that knows the answer to any problem that you're gonna go through in life glory to God all wisdom comes from above my friend only to God and you know what I'm always thankful for the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that they have given me, for the abilities, for the skills, the everything, the talents, the gifts that in your that you have in your life, everything comes from Him. Glory to God. For He created all things. He is the creator of all things. Glory to God. And He's doing such a wonderful job. And you know what? I always remember the story of Job. The book of Job. Hallelujah. It taught me so much good things about it. You know, if you just want to read something, I know it's a, a very complicated, you know, book. But you know what? When you learn about this, my God, you will appreciate the story about Job. And I am so happy and just glad to be to able to study the book of Job and there's more you know good things good stories about people that are that God have used to witness him and have the testimony of how God how God is good you know he's so great and awesome glory to God and so today I want to leave you with the last word from the book of Matthew chapter 6. It says that blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Hallelujah. You hear that, my friend? You hear that? Hallelujah. It says blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall shall be satisfied what a promise what a word hallelujah yes my friend and today i want to let you know one more time again and again of course to let you know that the best thing you could ever do for yourself is to have a relationship with god know him as your lord and savior lord him as your everything the great i am glory to god Hallelujah. All he, he has for you are all good things, my friend. And He created you. And so you know what? 
He loved you so much that he gave his only begotten son to die on the cross for you because of how much he loved you. And that's why he wants to have a relationship with you that you can live with him forever, not only here on earth, as well as in heaven. Glory to God. And know what? He's the only one who can truly satisfy us, can complete us, because in Him we are complete. He is the only one that can do that, my friend. So today I pray that you will make Him be your Lord and Savior. Have a relationship with the one that created you, the one that knows you so well, inside and out, my friend. He knows all things. And he loves you so much. So I pray that this day is the day that you will make him be your Lord and Savior. And for those who have a relationship with God and kind of feeling down and perhaps, you know, um, been away too long from him, my friend, it's time for you to come back. You know, come back, my friend, because you know what? He's still waiting for you. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, my friend. His hands is wide open for you to come back. And I know that He loves you because He's always there waiting for you. But don't, you know, don't take the chance or, you know, lose that opportunity, my friend. Because He's only there for a time. And hallelujah. Praise God. And till we meet again, I bless you with the blessings of Abraham. In Jesus' mighty name. Glory to God. In Jesus' name, hallelujah.